To avoid eye damage from ultraviolet radiation exposure, turn the detector off and strictly adhere to the following procedure when replacing a lamp. Also, wear eye protection that filters ultraviolet light and keep the lamp in the housing whenever the detector is on. The lamp housing becomes extremely hot during operation. To prevent burns to the skin, allow the lamp to cool for one hour before removing. The lamp gas is under slight pressure. To prevent shattering the glass, use care when disposing of the old lamp. Do not touch the lamp glass on the new lamp. Dirt or fingerprints will affect lamp performance. If the lamp needs cleaning, gently clean the glass with methanol and lens tissue. Do not use any abrasive tissue or excessive pressure. Whenever replacing a lamp, wear powder-free latex gloves. Extinguish the lamp using the keypad by pressing Shift Lamp and then pressing Shift Lamp again. Allow the lamp to cool for a minimum of 30 minutes. Turning the lamp off in this manner allows the instrument fan to blow cool air on the hot lamp, causing it to cool faster. Turn the detector off and disconnect the power cord. Gently pull the left front panel away to remove it. To remove the lamp, first disconnect the lamp power connector. Then loosen the two lamp mounting screws using a flathead screwdriver. Pull the lamp assembly straight out to remove it. Hold the new lamp carefully to avoid touching the lamp glass. Then position the cutout in the lamp's base to line up with a housing alignment pin. Gently push the lamp forward until it is seated. Next, tighten the two captive screws. Reconnect the lamp power connector and replace the front panel. Reconnect the power cord and turn the power on. Allow at least five minutes for the 2489 to complete its startup diagnostic routine. Record the new lamp serial number in order to validate the warranty. Failure to do so will void the lamp's warranty. The 2489 detector allows you to record and store the serial number and date of installation of a new lamp. Notice the lamp serial number is located on a label on the lamp wires. Make a note of the lamp serial number. To record this number, press the Diagnostics key to enter Diagnostics. Press 4 to select the Lamp Display and Keypad Diagnostic. Press 1 to Change Lamp. Enter the nine-digit serial number of the new lamp in the active field. This field only accepts numeric entries. Press Enter to store the serial number and move to the Date Installed field. Press Enter and scroll down to select the correct month. Press Enter. Enter the number for the day of the month the lamp is installed and then press Enter to accept this date and to move on to the Year field. Enter the last two digits of the year and press Enter to accept the entry and to move to the Hours field. The Hours field is optional. If you are reusing a lamp that has pre-existing hours on it, enter the number of hours the lamp is used and then press Enter. If it is a new lamp, the hours are zero. Now press the Home key and a confirmation message appears. Press Enter to accept the serial number and date of installation of the new lamp or press Cancel to cancel the entry. Press Enter again to return to the home page. Perform a manual wavelength calibration. To calibrate the detector manually, press Calibrate Shift 3 from the detector keypad. A message appears asking whether the flow cell is properly prepared. The flow cell is properly prepared after the cuvette is removed and the flow cell is wetted and flowing with a transparent solvent. Waters recommends methanol or water.
Press Enter to continue the calibration cycle. After you press Enter, the detector cycles through the calibration procedure and briefly displays a series of initialization messages similar to those that occur at startup. If calibration is successful, the detector beeps three times and displays the maximum error in nanometers of the farthest calibration shift from the last calibration. At the calibration successful message, press Enter to complete calibration. An optimizing calibration message is displayed momentarily.